Voting is one of the most powerful things you can do. But first, you've got to register to vote. In the last few years, organizations like The Bus Project have worked hard to make it embarrassingly easy to register to vote. Register while in line at the DMV. Checking out a book? Register at your local library. It's your voice, your civic duty, your right. But deep down, people vote because... I vote for my family. I vote because every voice does matter. I vote because if I want my voice to be heard, the first thing I must do is vote. Based on Singapore math, an internationally acclaimed set of methods for teaching, the materials include real-life examples so students can understand how to apply their newly acquired skills. You're guiding them through the practice in, in the mathematic concepts, and then the students are able to build that understanding through the guided practice. So if I multiply the numerator by two, I have to multiply the denominator by two. So my first time using it, it was like a little complicated, but after using it almost every single day, it actually got more easier. Everyone is very accepting, and you don't have to be putting up any facades. We started this Dharma School program well over 20 years ago. We have over 100 kids involved in a year. 45 kids came to Dharma camp last year. I think for me what Dharma School did was give me role models that were very um, compassionate. This was a personal run for me to end it where I was born. You know, this is where I opened my eyes for the first time to the world. In rural Ghana, often the only thing standing between a village and the education they seek for their children is an adequate structure to hold classes. Framework International, a Portland, Oregon based nonprofit, works in partnership with the Ghanaian public school system and local communities in Ghana to provide the physical framework and foundation to operate a school empowering Ghana's youth. I had come through here about nine years ago with Linfield College. So we really set it up to help people, to empower them to get a voice and to, and to become active agents in the developmental decisions affecting their lives. I see sculpture often as a still life, as a number of elements that compose a picture. And that comes very much from my background in painting. Hi, I'm Storm Large. Uh, I'm a musician here in Portland, Oregon, and I'm really excited to be here to tell you about KZME. We got songs for your car rides, for your birthday party, for your kitchen. But there's a few things left to do, some things that are going to require some money. We got to finish the recording, finish the artwork, make the CDs. We're even going to make some styling t-shirts. Cool. If you can pitch in a little bit, that is great. And if you can pitch in more than a little bit, that's extra great. Remember, the way Kickstarter works is we either reach our goal or we get nothing.
the problem is that these top five or six media conglomerates are swallowing up local community stations across the country and drowning out local voices. The incentives of their system don't really allow for that legitimate conversation to happen. It's a commercial enterprise. So Multnomah County Circuit Court is a general jurisdiction court. There are 27 of these courts in the state of Oregon. The lion's share of the nation's judicial business takes place in circuit courts, like this one. Every case that comes through the doors has a paper trail. Over the course of one day, the court will generate a stack of paper over six feet high. That's a lot of cases. Why does the circuit court get these cases? Well, the key word here is jurisdiction. 